Hi, it's Anthony at Land Title. I came to bring you the update for NIWAT in August. Um, big things happening in NIWAT, as always. This market, $1.5 million average sales price now. It has been increasing in value so rapidly, just like a lot of Boulder County. But one of the hardest things about NIWAT to read is what is going on here, because there's just a lot of moving pieces. And since it's such a small market, we really do need to dive in just a little bit deeper. So you can see that the inventory is actually increased again from that July to August timeframe. Now it's only up to 10 units. We've been bouncing around at single digit units for so long. So a little bit of rising inventory, but it's nothing to be concerned about because those under contracts just keep bumping up and keep soaring. Now we're having a hard time keeping up with the buyer demand in this area because there's not a lot of inventory there. It's not a lot of inventory available. Um, the solds were at nearly nothing a month ago because we just didn't have anything to sell. And so now with those under contracts, expect a good fall market. But the only issue is we're going to play this game where we bounce around over and over because even though we were bouncing around years past, you can kind of see 2019 is a good indication. We had a more consistent amount of inventory on the market even though you know you have that five to 10 homes going under contract every month, except for maybe you know closer to that January, December timeframe. And because of that, um, everything's just different now, right? 2020, we ate up all of that inventory post shutdown. And then going into this year, we've really just kind of purchased everything that's come on the market. So with that all being said, this average sales price chart means probably nearly nothing to you guys. Uh, it doesn't really mean much to me either because what I have to do every time I want to look at the average sales price going on in NIWAT is really take into account really what else has happened, right? How much does the market appreciate as a whole, not every month? Because this means nothing to anyone. It's just a bunch of small dots on a mat, on a chart where, you know, you have a home sell in the middle of NIWAT that is worth $460,000 and that's the only thing that sells. We get a point here and you get a couple of $3 million homes at sale, and then you get numbers like this $2 million average market here. So really what to expect is very similar to what we see in Boulder County, where consistent market depreciation, somewhere around that 10 to 20% for the year, 25% um, for the year is actually probably not too far off, but um, that's probably a little high. It's probably more like uh, you know, 15 to 20. Now with those type of numbers being thrown out there, that's really abnormal for the real estate market. Um, you know, we should see that five and a half, six percent annualized appreciation year over year over year on average. But we go through periods like this where we have these huge booms and we go through periods where uh, we go pretty stagnant. But because of the price, of this market, don't ever expect it to go down in value. Don't ever expect it to go down in price because of its proximity to Boulder and to some of just being on the front range. We're a little more resilient than the national market. So let's go over here to the solds. You can really see as of right now, we're about 9% more sales this year than last year, which is a good sign. Um, there's some strong months coming ahead. So we'll probably end somewhere around normal. You definitely don't see the normal seasonality in a small market like Niwot. So when homes come on the market, homes sell. When homes don't come on the market, they don't sell. And there's not always a rhyme or reason as to when that takes place. Now, if you look at the month supply of inventory, this gives us a better idea, but there's more inventory in Niwot right now um, when you look at a month supply kind of measure than there has been in anywhere else in Boulder County at this point, outside of maybe detached in the city of Boulder, right? There's quite a few homes there still because the price points are high, just like in Niwot. So lots of barriers to entry in markets like this. And you're, you've really seen us digging our way out of a hole, but nothing to be concerned about. These homes are absolutely going to sell. We have one and a half months of inventory. A balanced market isn't even to like four. So still super strong time to sell a home in Niwot, but it's also giving you a little bit of opportunity if you want to go out and buy something. There are homes available. Maybe not the ones you want, may, may not be in your price range, but there are there is inventory. So it's worth looking. Now, if you go over to the days on market, you can really see just how much this has dropped off over the year. Um, you know, we used to bounce around at 100, 150 days on market, 75 days on market, and now we're down into the 20s range. So homes that are selling, when they're selling, they're selling super fast. So buyer demand is at an all-time high. As you can see here, we never see numbers like this outside of one month in 2020 in the spring. So with that being said, high buyer demand, low level of supply still compared to most of the 
areas around it. It might be a little bit higher, but it's still super low. And with this high level of demand, buyers are shopping and they will be shopping all fall. So expect that to stay somewhere around here. If you have any other questions, you want to talk about other markets surrounding NIWAT, you can always join me in another video or always reach out to me. I'm Anthony Alan Title, always here to help. Hope to see you soon.